what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be talking again once again about jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn and as you saw in the thumbnail if you looked at the thumbnail of course i'm going to be talking about an idea of whether or not either one of two things either we have jack taggart jr being hidden amongst the character names that i have found or who this person is as in terms of a character now the person that i'm talking about is a actor who i've already talked about in one of my other videos about this film he is going to be in it he's starring in jeepers creepers 4 his name is peter brooke he is going to be playing a character that will be teaming up with the person we're speculating will be playing chase imran adams at one point in the film they're going to team up they're going to go to what we're all thinking again is the creepers new house of pain uh there's been footage of the crew members the crew members have shared footage of this on their instagram page where peter brooke and imran adams are in a house together which again i'm assuming is the creepers house of pain new house of pain someone comes crashing through the roof and i at this point in the film i guess this is when they're going to be looking for uh chase's girlfriend lane played by sydney craven but getting back to peter brook peter brook at one point on the imdb page was listed as going to be playing a character named Stu. that was deleted as was jonathan breck who was listed as playing the creeper and what i found interesting about that was i went to go fact check if you will what peter brooks recent films would be on like his talent agency site and other sites that would list resumes for actors and it does check out he's going to be starring in a movie uh it had again the working title going places and it said the character's name was Stu. now let's talk about two things let's talk about this character if the character's actual name is Stu, who is Stu? but the second thing is let's say this is a similar case to people who have watched my screen videos where we're being told a false name but at this point it was a little different with scream because at least the first letter was the same this is a completely different name altogether i'm speculating that what if Stu is just a fake name being listed and it's a cover for jack taggart jr now there seems to be some vengeance in this character's heart that Peter Brook is playing because the caption he has on his Instagram page states uh, the things I will do to you when I find you or something like that. So and I think I've touched on this briefly in the past that he could be playing Jack Jr. But according to what's being listed, he's playing the character named Stu. Now, if he's playing Jack Jr., that would be great to see because then that would then assist us with kind of guessing what could be happening at the start of the film but there's also been nothing really suggesting that peter brook is was involved with the shoot that happened in louisiana since apparently only the first 10 minutes of the film were shot in louisiana so who knows if he's actually going to be playing jack taggart jr or not but if he is that would then be another returning character that we now have uh who apparently will be surviving whatever happens at the beginning of the first film if what we think is going to happen happens as we all know we all think the creeper will be attacking jack taggart senior or something like that uh and then we'll just progress with jack jr if he makes it out alive but let's say he's not jack jr who is Stu? if his character's name truly is Stu, could Stu be a relative of a past creeper victim now the person i'm thinking about this being is a relative of scotty scotty we know was the creeper victim who was one of the jocks on the bus in jeepers creepers 2 last time we saw scotty he was pinned to a tree double d Rhonda, izzy all tried to get him out they eventually did but instead of running scotty stood there screaming in agony and they just watched and were basically taken back by the creeper coming in hot while he sped off with Scotty into the night sky and we never saw him again. As I've shared in the last video I did, there is a bloody Bannon, Bannon Bantam's jacket that looks like it's in a room that's a shrine to old things that have happened across the many creeper cycles. And of course, just filled with references to the other films to try to tie in that this is canically within the same universe so the other thing that i'm getting at with this whole scotty thing is that Stu 
What if he's a relative of Scotty? What if this is Scotty's little brother? And of course, we never would have gotten the chance to know about because Scotty was on the school bus. And of course, you're not just going to randomly start talking about your little brother. He could have. But as we all know, you don't just again, randomly start talking about your little brother. So for anyone who finds that far fetched, why would he just start randomly talking about his little brother? Who knows? That's what I that's what my rebuttal is to anyone that thinks that's far fetched. So Stu could be the younger brother of Scotty, now all grown up, of course, at this point, since it's 23 years later. But then the other person Stu could be, since we know D. Wallace is gonna be factored into this couple, Ron and Marie who are going to be coming home one Sunday afternoon after church service. They get run off the road by an unseen assailant, but they think he's holding someone captive at a nearby farmhouse and they go to investigate and they are never heard from again after they find these unspeakable horrors. So let's say that Stu is a relative of this old married couple or old couple who are going to be terrorized by the creeper at the start of the film. And he's going to follow the creeper to this horror hound festival and he's going to try to take take the creeper out for killing his parents. That's another possibility. Uh, again, I'm just trying to toss around ideas of who Stu could be. I love the idea of maybe this would be Jack Taggart Jr., but it's just a disguise. The name Stu isn't the actual name. It's just a way to throw us off. If he ends up being Jack Taggart Jr., I know a lot of you would be excited about that. But if Stu ends up being someone of importance, such as a younger brother of Scotty or the son of the married couple that's going to be presumably killed at the start of the fourth film. And that would also be interesting, too. And the other thing that I want to talk about with this whole Stu thing, he could be a relative or a friend or associate of many other creeper victims that we have seen at one point in the first three films. And we're going to be caught up on these people now because we have a relative who is coming to get justice for them now. Uh, maybe even this person that we're meeting, maybe this is someone who is related to Trisha. Maybe Stu is related to Trisha. Since I don't think Gina Phillips will be in this film, maybe Stu is related to Trisha. Because I know a lot of you would love to have any type of connection to Trisha with this film. Um, but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Who do you think Stu is? Do you think Stu is a cover name for Peter Brook's actual character and he's going to be Jack Taggart Jr.? Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.